Good morning. What a day. Just go back from the gym. And that's just one of them things you gotta do every day. Go to the, well, not every day, five days a week, go to the gym. Take care of yourself, it's good for your mental, it's good for your body. But the trick there is staying accountable. Which also so happens to be the topic of today's video. How to stay accountable. Especially when working for or by yourself. Accountability is the first step to both consistency and discipline. You have to make sure that emails are answered, you have to make sure that all of the tax authorities are happy with whatever you're doing, everything that needs to happen, needs to happen by and with you. For example, in one of my days, YouTube videos have got to be uploaded, pack orders, unpack orders, throw trash, pick up packages, add new products, take phone calls, manage three social media accounts, to now sitting down in the home office and working on one of the new features for Venture Pals. Right, so now we're here back in the home office as you can see, and a little bit different from where I work during the day. And now we have one thing that we're gonna be changing in my main app, Venture Pals, and that is we're gonna be introducing a contributor plan. A contributor plan is something that you introduce to introduce somewhat of a barrier for people. So because right now we have quite a lot of, a couple of hundred users on the platform actually, but a lot of them aren't that serious, maybe their profiles look a little bit whack because they haven't really entered. Like this one, I guess maybe this someone who's half serious, but some are even worse than this, like there's no picture, they've just put a dot or something in the description and done everything to bypass, you know, the stuff where we, we have implemented to try to encourage people to actually have a proper profile. Uh, so we're gonna head up and we're gonna put the computer in do not disturb mode because that's what we do when we're working. Uh, and we're gonna be doing two things. So first of all, for the swipe page, we have this little checker that says if the user is visible or not. So this is to determine if, uh, if the user has checked over here in the page here in the settings that says uh, show profile in Pathfinder like that and if they don't then that little thing triggers and it says become visible so then we can activate that again so that's this little little logic here and now we're gonna change this so that you won't be able to use venture pals you won't be able to use the swipe section specifically without being subscribed to a contributor plan so we have a couple of things to do we're gonna be lowering the price to just have a little bit of a financial obstacle and then we're also going to be adding a code wrapper around this so uh, you need to be premium to uh, to view the card so essentially uh, this whole is visible thing this whole thing is going to be wrapped in another is premium or is contributor uh, to determine uh, if the person should be able to use it and we're going to do that by writing some logic in the code and we're also going to be changing the pricing here in, in both apple and in uh, google google play so we're gonna be changing this to, I think, five euros or five dollars per month, just to make it a little bit of an obstacle. And then we'll see how this goes. We're just testing again. Uh, and then we'll do the same on Google Play. And then we'll also remove all of the references to premium. So for example, now, if I go to someone who's premium, premium like you will, for example, I press on him, it says premium user. It should say maybe contributing user or something like that. We'll have to change all of those references. It should probably take 45 minutes or so. Um, uh, and then we're gonna get to talking about accountability. A couple of hours later, it's 12 o'clock and boom, distribute app and that is now on its way to the app store. Okay, it's 12 o'clock, that was a couple of hours of work and we have now submitted that app to the Apple App Store so it will be up in a couple of hours. This is what I mean about accountability and discipline. It's like you gotta, if you wanna do these things and if you wanna keep on uh, pushing new businesses and pushing new uploads, you gotta be willing to spend some time working into the evening, spending a couple hours after your daytime job or whatever you wanna call it. That's just what it is. And part of it, I think, is personal responsibility. You just have to take some ownership of this is what you have to do, you have to get it done, and it depends only on you. And I think one of the things which has helped me do that is just thinking of uh, splitting up my time. So in the micro, as in today, tomorrow, next week, there needs to be urgency. Things need to happen now, because uh, otherwise, if you have the mentality of, no, no, no worries, I'm young, I can do this later, that's when you're gonna be 35 and you're gonna be playing catch up. But also in the macro, you need to have patience because even though all this micro work, i.e. the urgency that goes on day to day, happens all the time, 
you still need to have the patience when it comes to the long-term work that this could take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years before it pays off. But it's not gonna pay off unless you have that micro urgency. So patience in the macro, urgency in the micro. Another great part which has been uh, um, massive for my accountability is the uh, the concept of a success partner or an accountability partner. This actually started with a DM, uh, my own, the only DM I've ever received actually on Instagram back in April of 2023 with Joel who's now my co-founder who slid into my DMs and said hey uh, I really like your YouTube videos and the apps that you're building. Uh, I really recently read this study about accountability partners or success partners that if you have someone that you tell your plans to and you both have similar goals, you both have similar aspirations you're much more likely to achieve all of those things. So we set out to do this thing where we checked in with each other every Monday saying, hey, these are my tasks for this week and uh, this is what I'm gonna be doing, this is why, why I'm gonna be doing it. Oh, nice, I've done this before, here's some advice. We do the same, I've done this before, nice, here's some advice. And then we would go back and forth between from April all the way until August. And in August we'd be like, damn, this is a pretty good concept. We should build a platform of some kind for this. So that's when we validated the idea and we built a pretty, uh, or you were mainly, I'm sorry you will, but built a pretty pretty shit up, shitty first version of it. Um, but the idea was good and validated, people loved it, people loved the concept. So we were like, okay, wow, we got something here, we really, we're on to something. So that's when we started building uh, Venture Pals in October, November of 2023. And in the beginning of April, we launched a product. We actually ended up getting fourth product of the day on Product Hunt out of like 1,200 startups or something, which is pretty good. And now we have a couple of hundred users, not that much revenue, but that's gonna come with features like these that we just launched today. But let me show you real quickly what Venture Pals looks like. Here we are with the, the full production app. So what Venture Pals is, is that it's a social accountability app, meaning that uh, through uh, the social elements of how you interact with other people, you help keep yourself accountable. And the way it works is that part of it is just a standard task manager. So for example, we have a couple of things here where we can say, maybe one of my tasks is YouTube video about uh, day, for example. Then I might have subtasks for this. It may be, for example, um, record. Now it's a Swedish keyboard, so forget. And Swedish keyboard at 12 o'clock at night, so forget that it's a little bit misspelled. Plan, etc. And then as I complete this, we can see that we, we get this. And it also closes on the outside here with a semicircle. But uh, this is a pretty standard task tracking manager where we can have uh, multiple tasks, for example. Uh, but what makes it special is that I can see my pal. So for this week, this is my pal. And it's you all just because of this, uh, this demo, which is of my co-founder that I talked about earlier. But we can, for example, press my pal's progress and I'm able to see all of his, his tasks. So one of his tasks is update a website to extended version. I com commented before looking forward to this, for example, and I can see how he's doing with this. And then I can go to the postdoc integration and say, uh, how's this going? Again, 12 o'clock at night, Swedish keyboard this is a demo, forgive me. Uh, but uh, it worked pretty nice and uh, we have had uh, quite a lot of people reaching out like saying that they really appreciate it and found some, some new friends etc. But similar to an Apple Watch you can see as your circle starts to close and as your pal's circle starts to close. And when I, he sees that my tasks are being completed and I'm, you know, have a full circle he doesn't, he's gonna feel that social pressure like shit my pal is getting stuff done, I should be getting stuff done as well. And if we move on to uh, this overview, we can for example go to last week's tasks, so we can go to a custom range of dates for instance, and we can do the same for our pal. Uh, and then we have this part which is just chat, so for example here we have just a standard standard chat and we have that with all of our past pals as well. So we've been launched for like right around 5 weeks and I've had 4 pals in that period. This is a pretty cool guy, check him out if you're into fractional ownership of real estate in Switzerland. If you need any video editing, check out my friend Keanu who was one of the first users on the app and hasn't been online for 6 days, goddamn. Uh, but uh, as you can see we do have a couple of, uh, or quite a few uh, active users. Uh, and then if we go over here to the profiles, it's pretty much like any similar dating app. So this starts off by you having to swipe and like or dislike these profiles. And if you both swipe on each other, like on any dating profile, you actually end up with a, a match. And if you have a match, you end up in each other's uh, contacts list. And this is one of the things I need to approve because right now it's a little bit slow. But it ends up in this contacts list. So you can see I've built quite an extensive list of 
uh, of contacts and then you can go into these people and you can send them a venture pal request and now I already have a pal so I can send a request. But what happens then is that they'll get a notification saying hey Herman sent you a venture pal request do you want to reject or deny it and if they accept it uh, we end up in this flow here where we're uh, where we're venture pals and we also get a channel or a chat that's created between us. So this has been incredible for me in terms of staying productive and accountable. I built venture pals in like three months which is a pretty fast uh, time period for, for building a relatively advanced app. And I think a big factor of that was the social accountability part. When you tell someone else that you're going to do something, you better do it because then they're looking at you, they're, watching, they're making sure that you're getting stuff done. And if you're not getting stuff done and they are, you feel like you're a little bit uh, left behind. But so that is what Venture Pass looks like. I'm going to leave the link down below if you want to check it out. This is a little bit of a shameless plug. But at the same time, I think it fits very nicely into, one, the theme of my channel in general, to this video. And it is something that I've built in past YouTube videos. So now you get a chance to use it and try it out a little bit. So please check it out. Uh, it helps a lot just for the statistics if you download it and use it for a week or two. I'm sure you're going to find it and realize like, damn, this is night and day in terms of getting my tasks done. When I have someone else who looks over what I'm doing and make sure that I do them, you're so much more likely to complete them. Like there's a study, for example, saying that if you have someone else or a trusted partner that you tell about what you're going to do, you're 95% more likely to complete those tasks than if you don't tell them. So definitely try this method. It's insane for staying accountable and productive and combined with your own, you know, personal type of motivation and discipline to get things done and the personal accountability that you need to have this is a game changer so feel free to check it out in the link down below there's a free trial for two weeks right now if you want to check it out so please do it it will mean the world to me if you try it out and leave a comment uh, and a review uh, but i think i'm gonna end the video there that was uh, a pretty uh, pretty normal day for me with uh, some working on every and various types of tasks as you saw and very important to stay accountable to yourself because if you start slacking on some of those, like if you start slacking on the average speaking emails or the order packing or the social media, there's so much stuff that goes wrong when you start slacking on these things. So um, yeah, that's why it's super important to stay accountable to these things. But that's it for today's video. If you like this type of content, then feel free to subscribe down below. It's completely free of charge. It's a bargain. And if you have any particular videos that you want to see, do let me know in the comments. I'm open to making whatever you uh, you want to see. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.